Hey everyone, this is Dr. Raj again here. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about the topic of secondary polycythemias. Um, very quick, uh, just a couple of high yield points that people easily forget. Um, there's many causes of secondary polycythemias. Basically poly polycythemia may increased in red blood cell concentration, red blood cell count. Um, and one of the, the causes that I wanna discuss, and that's probably, probably the only cause I wanna discuss right now. All the other causes are pretty intuitive common sense, everybody knows about them. You can sort of make sense of them. Um, but this one is uh, the tumors that cause secondary polycythemias. So um, due to an uh, increase in autonomous production of EPO, um, obviously you'll get uh, secondary polycythemia uh, and many tumors can cause that such as hepatocellular carcinoma, um, renal cell carcinoma. Obviously we know that EPO is made or released um, by the kidneys. So that's an obvious one, but then there's also pheochromocytoma that people forget about, um, and also a uterine leiomyomata, so fibroids. Um, those conditions can cause secondary polycythemias. And then obviously hemangioblastoma, but that's also very intuitive. People don't forget about that one. The two main ones that people usually tend to forget about are the uh, pheochromocytomas and the uterine leiomyomatas. Um, so the studies that you want to do with secondary polycythemias are the obviously first thing you want to do is a peripheral blood smear, rule out any other pathologies, um, but then a serum EPO level is very important. So if we have an elevated serum EPO level that tells us that it's a secondary polycythemia, whereas if you have a low or absent of serum EPO levels, that could suggest a primary polycythemia. Because with the primary polycythemia, you have the progenitor cells increasing RBC count, which would cause a secondary feedback to the EPO and the kidneys to decrease the amount or you know, absent in any, any increase or increase. But uh, if it's increased EPO, obviously by default, it's gonna suggest a secondary polycyth polycythemia. Um, you wanna do a complete blood, 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 blood count to CBC, obviously. You also want to do elevated, uh, you also want to check for elevated uh, hemoglobin levels uh, in the blood. So that's very important, hemoglobin and hematocrit. Urinalysis and creatinine, kidney functions, uh, electrolytes, you know, uh, liver function test and pulse oxy oximetry is also very important uh, in uh, workup of a polycythemia patient. Thank you.